In this video presentation, we will have a discussion on Introduction to Mycology, which includes general properties and classification of fungus. Before that, we will have a brief overview about microbiology. Microbiology. The study of microorganisms, that is, microbes. Which is visible only with the help of microscope. The French biologist and microbiologist, Louis Pasteur. His period of research is recognized as golden era of microbiology. So, Louis Pasteur is popularly well known as the father of microbiology. Louis Pasteur renowned for his discoveries on vaccination, who created the first vaccines for rabies and anthrax, microbial fermentation, and pasteurization. The term microorganism includes bacteria, virus, fungus, algae, and protozoa. These organisms do not possess specialized tissues and organs, as found in higher plants and animals. In general, all living cells are broadly classified into two protist, prokaryotes, and eukaryotes. The bacteria are under prokaryotes. And, the fungi, algae, protozoa, plant cells, and animal cells are classified under eukaryotes. In prokaryotes, the word pro denotes before, carrion denotes nucleus. That means they lack proper nucleus. In eukaryotes, the word eu denotes true, carrion denotes nucleus. That means they have proper nucleus. So, in microorganisms, the bacteria is classified under prokaryotes. The fungi, protozoa, algae is classified under eukaryotes. But the virus, they are neither under prokaryotes nor under eukaryotes. Because the virus does not carry any organelles or other specialized structures, virus structure is different from others, which will be detailed in separate video. The difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes are size wise. Eukaryotic cells are 10 to 100 times larger than prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells do not contain nucleus. Instead, they have nucleus like material, that is, nucleoid, which lack a nuclear membrane. But, eukaryotic cells possess well defined nucleus in it. Prokaryotes are unicellular, whereas eukaryotes are unicellular and multicellular. Cell wall of bacteria is rich in peptidoglycans. On contrast, Eukaryotic cells like animal cells, lack cell wall. But, plant cell posses cell wall, which is rich in, cellulose. And fungal cell posses cell wall, which is rich in, chitin. Ribosome size. Bacterial cells posses smaller ribosome on comparison to eukaryotic ribosome. That is, 70S ribosome in bacteria. And, 80S ribosome in eukaryotic cells. Mitochondria, powerhouse of cell absent in prokaryotes, but, present in eukaryotes. Endoplasmic reticulum, absent in prokaryotes, but, present in eukaryotes. Golgi apparatus, absent in prokaryotes, but, present in eukaryotes. So, membrane-bound organelles like, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, are present in eukaryotic cells. But they are absent in bacterial cells. Another membrane-bound organelle, chlorophyll, present only in plants. Generally it is absent in, fungi and, bacteria. But exception, present in certain bacteria like, cyanobacteria. Cytoplasmic membrane. In prokaryotes, cytoplasmic membrane do not contain, sterol. But, in eukaryotes, cytoplasmic membrane contain, sterol. These are the difference between, prokaryotes, and eukaryotes. So, the eukaryotic cells posses, well-organized nucleus, and, membrane-bound organelles like, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus in their cytoplasm. But, the bacterial cells, does not possess, nucleus. Instead, they have, nucleus-like material, that is, nucleoid. And, they do not have, membrane-bound organelles. The detail about the structure of prokaryotic cells will be discussed in separate video. Schematic illustration of structure of bacterial cell is available as, downloadable link, in the below YouTube description. Coming to the, introduction to mycology. Mycology. Study of fungi. The Italian botanist, Pier Antonio Michel, who is popularly well known as, the father of mycology. Pia Michel is renowned for his research in, plants and fungi. 
The disease caused by fungi, is termed as, mycosis. What is fungi? Fungus is, an eukaryotic cell. Spore-bearing, or spore-producing organism. Which lack in chlorophyll. So, they cannot make their, own organic food. And they are, chemoheterotrophic organism. That is, they use as, chemical as, source of energy. And, organic compounds as, source of carbon. Based on the nutritional type, organisms can be, photoautotroph, which uses, light as source of energy. And, carbon dioxide as source of carbon. Photoheterotroph, which uses, light as source of energy. And, organic compounds as source of carbon. Chemoautotroph, which uses, chemical as source of energy. And, carbon dioxide as source of carbon. Chemoheterotroph, which uses, chemical as source of energy. And, organic compounds as source of carbon. So the fungus is, a chemoheterotrophic organism, which uses, chemical as source of energy, and organic compounds as source of carbon. Morphology of fungi. They are unicellular, and, multicellular. Example, yeast, which is a unicellular organism. And, mold, which is a multicellular organism. Yeast, they are microscopic, requires microscope, to visualize. But, molds are, easily seen with, unaided eyes. In this video, you can observe the growth of mold. This is a fast forwarded video. Fungal contents are, protected and, encased inside the, protective barriers like, cell wall, followed by, cytoplasmic membrane, or plasma membrane. These structures protect the fungus from many adverse conditions. So, there are antifungal agents, which is used to target against, these structures. Cell wall. They are rich in, chitin and, glucan. They play an, important antigenic determinant, for the fungus. In animal cell, there is no cell wall. In plant cell, cellulose is the major cell wall component. And in bacterial cell, peptidoglycan is the major cell wall component. Cytoplasmic membrane, or plasma membrane. Unlike bacterial cells, these membrane contains ergosterol and zymosterol. Next, nutrition. Fungi are chemoheterotrophs. Lack chlorophyll. Embedded in food source or medium and undergoes external digestion they are chemoheterotrophic organism uses chemical as source of energy and organic compounds as source of carbon they lack chlorophyll so they cannot make their organic food they are generally embedded in food source or medium like wood vegetation leather bread and so forth they undergo external digestion that is Fungal cell secrets, extracellular enzymes. These secreted enzymes, digest the outside food material. So the digestion is, completed outside the organism, and then, these digested end products, are absorbed by the fungus. This is an, external digestion, which is seen in fungus. Fungal reproduction. Unlike other organisms, both asexual reproduction, and, sexual reproduction, is seen in fungus. Asexual reproduction occurs by budding, or fission. In budding, progeny cells, buds off, from the parent cell. In fission, a fissure is created in the middle, and then, the two cells separates. This thing happens by, mitosis. That is, from single cell, two cells are formed. As a result of asexual reproduction, asexual spores are produced. Examples of asexual spores are, arthrospores, blastospores, chlamydospores, Cunidiospores and sporangiospores. Next, sexual reproduction occurs by fusion or union of gametes. That is, fusion of male and female gametes. This thing happens by meiosis. That is, from two cells, one cell is formed. As a result of sexual reproduction, sexual spores are produced. Examples of sexual spores are zygospores, ascospore, basidiospore and who spores. How fungus are classified. 
especially based on their morphology. Number 1, yeast. 2, yeast-like. Next, mold, or filamentous fungi. And lastly, dimorphic fungi. First we will see about, yeast. There are, single-celled organisms, that is, they are unicellular structures. Microscopically, their size is, larger than the bacteria. There are, well grown at, 37 degrees Celsius, which is the body temperature. Next, microscopically, they are, oval to, round shaped cells. The picture shown here is the, actual microscopic image of the yeast cells, which appears, oval to round shape. Macroscopically, after incubation, they appears, smooth surface colonies, which resembles like, bacterial colony. Reproduction. Here, the progeny cell, buds off from the parent cell, and the process is termed as, budding, which is an asexual reproduction. In summary, yeast is a unicellular organism. They are oval to round shaped cell. Size, larger than the bacteria. They are well grown at, 37 degrees Celsius. After incubation, it resembles like bacterial colony, that is, smooth surface colonies. Reproduction happens by the asexual process called, budding. Cryptococcus neoformans, one of the example for the pathogenic yeast. Next, yeast-like fungi. This organism also, similar to yeast. But, they give rise to, an elongated structure, which is termed as, pseudohyphae. Candida albicans, one of the example for the pathogenic yeast-like fungi. In summary, yeast-like is also an, unicellular organism. They are oval to round shaped cell. But, they give rise to, pseudohyphae. Like yeast, they also well grown at, 37 degrees Celsius. After incubation, it also resembles like bacterial colony, that is, smooth surface colonies. Reproduction happens by the asexual process called, budding. All the features are, similar to, yeast, but, they posses, pseudohyphae. Next, mold, or filamentous fungi. Sometimes it is also spelled as, M-O-L-D. Both are correct. They are multicellular structures. They give rise to the filamentous structures, which is termed as, hyphae. They are well grown at, 25 degrees Celsius, that is a room temperature. After incubation, cottony, and spreading type of growth will be observed. Reproduction happens by, both sexual, and asexual process. This hyphae are two types. Septate hyphae, and aseptate hyphae. In septate hyphae, the hyphae, have, cross walls in between. But, in aseptate hyphae, the hyphae, do not have, cross walls in between. These aseptate hyphae, also termed as, cenocytic hyphae. As we already discussed, the mold give rise to the, filamentous structures called, hyphae. These hyphae's, branches in all direction, and form a mat-like structure, which is termed as, mycelium. So the mycelium is nothing but the, complex form of, hyphae's. In mold, the term, thallus means, fungal body, which constitutes of, mycelium and, spores. Molds are, something like a, microscopic version of, plants and, trees. Their structures are similar to, plants and trees. They also have root-like structure, which is essential for the, absorption of nutrients. Also have, structures like, stems, and branches, which give rise to the, fruiting bodies, like spores, in mold. So, in mold, the mycelium, which is exposed out, is termed as, aerial mycelium, which is also called as, reproductive hyphae, because they are involved in the, reproduction and, produces spores. The mycelium, which is embedded inside the surface, is termed as, surface mycelium, which is also called as, vegetative hyphae, because, they are involved in the, attachment to the surface, and also, for the absorption of nutrients. This is a fast forwarded video. In this video, you can observe the mold growth, which is cottony, and spreading type of growth. As we already discussed, this is an aerial mycelium, which is exposed out, which is also called as, reproductive hyphae, because they are involved in the reproduction and, produces spores. Now you can observe the, cottony, and spreading type of, mold growth.
This is the mycelial growth under microscopy. These are all fast forwarded videos showing the mold and their growth. In summary, molds are multicellular structure. They give rise to filamentous structures called hyphae. These hyphae form a mat like structure called mycelium. There are well grown at 25 degrees Celsius, that is, room temperature. After incubation, it forms cottony and spreading type of growth. Reproduction happens by both sexual and asexual process. Dermatophytes like Microsporum, Epidermophyton, Trichophyton are the examples for the mold. In addition, some molds have root like part arise from the hyphae, which is termed as rhizoid. This structure anchors the fungus to the surface. Rhizopus, one of the fungi, posses this structure. You might be knowing this type of fungus infected bread which is caused by Rhizopus stolonifer, which is also well known as bread mold, also possess rhizoid for anchoring. Lastly, dimorphic fungi. The word dimorphism term is used to describe a fungus which occurs in two different forms, depends upon environmental conditions like temperature or place. Depending upon the environmental conditions, this type of fungus exists as yeast and mold. At 37 degrees Celsius, that is, body temperature, it grows as yeast. At 25 degrees Celsius, that is, room temperature, it grows as mold. Coccidioides imidus. Paracoccidioides persiliensis. Blastomyces dermatitides. Histoplasma capsulatum. And Sporothrix shinaki are the four pathogenic dimorphic fungi, which exist as both yeast and mold, depending upon the temperature. With this we are coming to the end of part 1 lecture on introduction and classification of fungus. In next video presentation, in part 2, we will discuss in detail on fungal reproduction and cultivation. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you.